In this video, we're going to look at drawing pie charts. So a pie chart is a circle which is cut into slices. So a, a whole pie cut into different parts. The whole pie, the whole circle, represents the total amount. And each slice, which is representing a different group, each slice tells us how much of a total is from each group. So we're going to look at a question. So here we've got a table that shows information about the languages studied by 90 year 10 students. So we've got French, German and Spanish and we've got frequencies of 48 French, 22 German and 20 Spanish. And if I write total on the end, in total, there are 90 students. So if we add up 48, 22 and 20, we should get 90 because they said there was 90 in the question. To draw a pie chart, we need to know that all the angles around the point, all the angles in the circle add up to 360 degrees. So I'll make a note of that here, 360 degrees. And that will always be the case. So in pie charts, we've always got a circle. So it's always going to add up to 360 degrees. So we're going to have to work out what the angle for French, for German and for Spanish is. But we know the total angles must be 360 degrees. So what we do is we work out a multiplier. So how can we go from the frequencies to the angles? So we've got 90 in total and the angles 360 in total. So we're working at a multiplier. What do you multiply 90 by? What do you times 90 by to get 360? How many 90s make 360? And that's four. So we've got a multiplier of four. So to go from frequencies to angles, we are going to times by four. So we're going to do this for each of them. So for French, we've got 48 times four, which is 192. For German, we've got 22 times four, which is 88. And Spanish, 20 times four, that's 80. So here are our angles. We're going to draw 192 degrees for French, 88 degrees for German, and 80 degrees for Spanish. And if we add them up and check, we should get 360 degrees in total. So let's look at drawing the pie chart. So we've got a protractor. And we line up this part, the middle of the protractor, with the middle of the pie chart. And we're going to spin it round, so zero starts on the line we've been given. So we're going to start at zero, and we want to go around to 192 degrees. So this is a protractor that only actually goes up to 180 degrees. So we need another 12 degrees. So 180, we need 12 more degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin it all the way around. So I've got 180 degrees round to here, and I want another 12 degrees. So there we've got 192 degrees. Now we want to measure 88 degrees. So again, the protractor on the center. We spin it round so zero is on the line. So zero is lined up and we want 88 degrees. So at zero, we go up to 88.
and we get our ruler and we join that line up. Then we should have 80 degrees left. So we can measure that. There we have 80 degrees left. So now we just need to label our pie chart. So we've got French, which was at 192 degrees. Then we had German for 88 degrees and Spanish for 80 degrees. Okay, here we've got another question. If you want to pause the video and try and do this yourselves, you can. Otherwise, just keep watching. So the question says, the table shows information about the eye color of 60 people. Draw an accurate pie chart for this information. So again, we've got, well, we've got 60 people so we'll add a total row in the bottom here and we've got 60 people in total and the angles in total have to add up to 360 degrees so what is our multiplier this time how do we get from 60 to 360 how many 60s go into 360 so we could do 360 divide 60 and that should give us an answer of six. So our multiplier this time is six. So we're gonna times each of the frequencies by six to find out how many degrees they're represented by. So four times six, you can probably use a calculator for these um, numbers, but four times six should give us 24. 13 times 6 should give us 78. 20 times 6 is 120. And 23 times 6 should be 138. Okay, so we've got our angles. We can check that these numbers add up to 360, which they do. And now we're going to grab the protractor and draw these angles on. So we line up the center of the protractor with the center of the circle. And I'm going to spin it round until zero is lined up with the line we've been given. So we're going to do brown first. So we do 138 degrees first. So zero all the way around to 138. And then we're going to get the ruler and draw a straight line to complete the slice. We're going to do the same thing again for blue, 120 degrees. So the center of the protractor in the center of the circle line up zero with the line so the line we've just drawn and we're going to go around 120 degrees this time so 120 degrees and get the ruler and join with the straight line seventy eight degrees next So zero lined up with the line we've just drawn, the center of the protractor in the center of the circle, and we want 78 degrees, so zero round to 78. And get the ruler join from the center of the circle 
to our point. And we're hopefully going to be left with 24 degrees. Yes, 24 degrees. So we've got brown. Blue. Green. And hazel. Putting on our labels. And there is our completed pie chart.